A big, bad, beautiful Eagle 338 RETS from Jayco RV here at Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Uh, the best selling member of the Eagle family from the uh, uh, manufacturer that builds the best selling travel trailer since 2005 and counting. That is no small feat. Um, you know, the question is why? Because there are so many travel trailers out there and way more today than ever before. And I'm one of the few guys that's going to tell you they're all really cool for different reasons. Uh, you could go to 10 dealerships and talk to 10 people and all those 10 different guys looking at 10 different trailers always say, yeah, well, mine's the best. And they're all telling the truth for different reasons. The difference is we carry over 400 trailers in stock at all times here. We have like 28 different brands that we represent. They are all the best for different reasons. I can show you where they're all superior. Um, first thing to talk about on any Jayco is the fact that because they are a better built coach, they have twice the warranty of basically anything else in this class with very very few exceptions um, we have a big power awning on here I've seen manufacturers cut down on their awnings now RVs that have big super slides on the door side of the trailer they tend to cut down the awning a little bit so Jayco extended it forward pretty much all the way to the nose cap as far as they could without uh, interfering with that baggage or you can't really put a bigger power awning on this camper so not only is it easy to use but uh, recent update here they have this handy little remote system that you can sit right down here and do things like light up your lights and uh, awnings and this little guy works extremely well I mean you can see that I can just sit here and, and you know flip the lights on and off like a strobe effect it has excellent signal reception and integrity it works fantastically um, Jayco's are built better and last longer uh, because of things like vacuum lamination as opposed to pinch rolling if you're not familiar with that please call because this video is already going to run just really long as it is um, there's nothing wrong with pinch rolling. Vacuum lamination is a better process that lasts longer, to put it quickly. Um, the uh, underbelly here, enclosed, insulated, forced air heated. Now notice that your underbelly enclosure is actually on top of the I-beam right here. It's not drilled to the bottom of the I-beam like most manufacturers do. So here's the thing. If it's drilled to the bottom of the I-beam and then it sags and creates a gap like that, well, now you just created a little critter heaven up in there, and they're going to have their way with it. And you're going to have a mouse nest you're never going to get out. Um, the uh, That's basically not possible when you C-channel it in place on top of the I-beam like you're seeing here. We have upgraded this one to power stabilizer jacks, and I want to take a, uh, just a quick second to mention that uh, not every single 338 RETS that we carry is going to be equipped exactly the same way. Far from it. We actually tend to make this model vary a little bit so that we have different things to offer. Um, the important thing to remember is this is generic stock video footage to teach you about the 338, about Halitz, and about Jayco. Um, you know, the one that we have in stock, if the pictures look different, the pictures are more likely accurate. Never hesitate to call, though. We even publish a copy of our MSRP sheet so you can make sure it's the right one. Power awnings, power tongue jacks, these things are like a dime a dozen nowadays, so you need to look at the quality of, like, the motor being used. Jayco uses the highest quality motor they can get their hands on so that the appliance moves faster, is stronger, lasts longer. Now notice that we have full depth deep slides here. These are not shallow slides. They're not cheating the floor plan. Amazingly, they still cut out about 900 pounds compared to last year's model. I was very impressed. Last year this thing weighed 10,000 and uh, 400 pounds. This year it's coming in at 91 because they made some simple intelligent decisions that did not sacrifice build quality. Um, when you're looking at travel trailers like this, walk up to the sides of the slide out and push on them. On a Jayco, they're fully laminated, just like the sidewall here. A lot of manufacturers, those are not laminated. If they're not laminated, they're not as well insulated, they're not as strong structurally. If this slide out does not hold square, if it bends or gives it all, well then you're going to have a gap by one of these seals. If you have a gap, it's not sealed, you have a leak. That's it. That's, that's how quick it happens. Um, this little storage pocket right here is oddly shaped, but it's better than nothing. This is uh, basically space behind the refrigerator. A lot of manufacturers, or beside the refrigerator rather, behind the uh, oven and whatnot. Um, a lot of manufacturers won't open that up. Jayco decided to. It's an odd space, but it's better than wasted space. Uh, frameless windows, standard on our Eagles. They don't just look super cool. They hide the seal under the window pane to keep it protected from the sun. And notice that even the windows on the sides of the slide outs, which is where you get your serious cross ventilation, do open. Um, this has a uh, like a motorhome style roof. What I mean by that is this roof is built at ground level into one piece, which is then hoisted up and attached as one piece. You don't get that kind of construction on almost any travel trailer. 
So notice that we've got two double super slides on both sides of the coach. This thing is like, what is that, 14 feet wide once it's open. It is exceptionally large in the interior. It has a dramatic roof sweep because it does have an arch cathedral ceiling. Now, all Jayco travel trailers, all of them, have a level of, of arch to the roof, but not as extreme as what you're going to typically find here on the Eagle or its ultralight brother, the White Hawk. Um, you know, you're going to get more structure, more stability. I mean, the Romans knew that arches lasted longer. That's why their arches are still standing. And that's no joke. <laughs> Um, it, it just it works better that way. Uh, let's let's see. I've, I've oh one more thing, and this is a big thing, and this is that kind of stuff most guys aren't going to take the time to show you, but you're you're spending the money on it. You deserve to know. Um, not only are we looking at nice aluminum wheels, but if you zoom in a little closer, you see a Moride CRE 3000 suspension system. It's a rubberized shock dampening suspension system that offers 50% more independent wheel travel than what is usually used in travel trailers. And the shock dampening portion, you know, when you're going down the road and this thing's bouncing behind you, it's going to keep those jolts from getting pushed up into the truck or the roof or the windows. That's how you get leaks. And notice, this is a recent update at the time of this filming. The no slip, uh, <laughs> this is hard to say, no slip entry steps. Wow, smoke coming out of my ears off that one. They, uh, I mean, you know, they look a lot like you'd see like on a dock uh, next to a boat. And that's because when your shoes are wet, they're slippery. Well, when you're walking around outside when you're camping, your shoes get wet a lot, especially in the morning. So instead of slick black metal steps, they put these nice aluminum steps on here that aren't gonna rust or pit up or anything. And they have, they're they uh, textured so that you don't fall around. One thing to point out, you're going to see Furion Electronics used in here exclusively now. Um, Furion's become the, um, you know, the premier name of electronics uh, supply in RV and Marine applications. Their TVs, their stereos, their speakers, all that stuff is designed to be shaken harder and frozen uh you know further and heated harder without failing um another recent update is you walk in one light switch bang it comes to life you don't have to go through multiple switch zones and they're also including more lights now lights and windows are the two most expensive components on a, on a total basis in travel trailers and fifth wheels lights and windows uh you know it's it's a huge chunk of the investment of this RV and that's why it's important to see what kind of quality lighting are you getting even on a nice bright sunny day man it just comes to life now they've done at the time of this filming some uh, recent updates to their interiors and I gotta tell you I am 100% on board with this first of all they lightened up the wall paneling a lot of people oh they got darker wood no 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 they lightened up their wall paneling and that's why I mean it's it's just so bright and airy in here compared to last year's models um, there's nothing wrong with last year's models, but, whew, I mean, it's nice and open and, and vivid and vibrant in here. Um, all, additionally, what's cool is this is built just like all the Eagle fifth wheels, just in a travel trailer. So many manufacturers. If a fifth wheel and a travel trailer share the same name, they're not built the same. That is not the case with an Eagle. It's built just like a fifth wheel. For instance, we have a Whisper Quiet air conditioner system. You don't see the air conditioner you see these little air return vents. The filters, by the way, are up inside these little grates. I've had people ask me, where are the filters? You just pop these two little screws down, replace a little foam filter, put it back up. It's that easy. Um, here's the whole point of this. A Whisper Quiet AC system is more efficient. It moves air faster. It won't get colder. It'll get down to temp faster and maintain it easier. Secondly, it only produces 10% of the noise of a middle room box air conditioner. So when your TV comes on, you don't have to talk like this to people because that's annoying. You know, you feel like you're in a bar with loud music when that kicks on. Um, another thing I want to mention real quick, this is called the Meadow Color Scheme. And again, fabrics and, uh, you know, uh, pa equipment packages might differ from model to model. I'll try to point that out as we go. Like, for instance, we've got a sweet looking stainless steel appliance bundle going on here. Notice that your three big appliances, they're in the slide out. They are off the floor plan. That is why we have enough floor space here to have a half court basketball game. We have an eight cubic foot refrigerator freezer. Standard. Sta normally most travel trailers have a six. This is 33% larger. This trailer is excellent for extended stays or seasonals and things like that. Well, you don't want to constantly be going to the grocery store to refill stuff. This is going to give you a couple extra days between trips to the store. They also include right in the slide out a big honking pantry. 
So even though you don't see like a big island and whatnot, you actually have an excellent kitchen here. It's just half of it's in the slide out, so you don't think about that. This is a, a fold out memory foam hide a bed sofa. Uh, so there's no air beds to go flat, no no hassle or anything. Notice that your uh, your overhead doors have nicer metal struts to keep themselves open. Uh, uh, oh, I forgot to mention this also. I'm glad this old sign is here. This is prepped for solar, but what that means is not, oh man, I'm going to hook a solar panel up and run my air conditioner. No. Uh, RV solar prep systems are designed for like trickle charging your battery. Um, not for running, it, it doesn't have a power conditioner. You know, it, it's made for like a little suitcase solar system. We have added the full ledge stone rear wall option on this. There's two ways to get this RV. One with a big window and a TV that slides up from the countertop and then the ledge stone. We tend to go with the ledge stone because it has a look that nothing else has in the RV business. Um, this, and secondly, you get a bigger television when you do that. Uh, you can get a fireplace either way. The fireplace is included with the ledge stone option. It's also, if you want a bigger TV and the fireplace, it's cheaper to go this route than to get the two items a la carte. That's another reason we do it. It's a better buy. Um, man, I love, I just, I, I love the, the little smokiness they got in the cabinetry here. Man, that is sharp. They're killing it this year. Um, again, fearing electronics. Now, Manufacturers have included high-def capable televisions for years, and even though I don't have the TV installed currently, um, it is high-def capable. However, they haven't given you the cables to get high-def output. So, Jayco decided to kick it up a notch. This is an HDMI cable, high-def cable. Um, this means that you don't have to spend 20 or 40 extra bucks at a store to get high-def service. Now, notice too that they fished it down through the entertainment center here. That's, that's not something you want to do. That's something you want done from the factory. That wire has to go behind everything to get to the DVD player. The only other way to do it is you spend your 20 or 40 bucks on Amazon to get that cable, or at Walmart or Target or wherever, and then you have an ugly cable draped across your entertainment center of your gorgeous new uh, travel trailer. That's stupid. So Jayco did it better. Um, notice little accent things here. The side walls of the slide outs are that nice, deep, rich cherry color. What it gives you is the impression of depth and scope and scale. So it turns us into a true slide room, not just a slide out. It's, it's, it's another step above and beyond. We have upgraded this unit in this video to feature twin recliners. You can put uh, normal chairs here, a height of bed. You can have a theater seat here. There's a lot of different configurations. I tried very, very hard to make our picture tour match the actual unit. But, uh, I mean, we sell over a thousand RVs every year. So it's, it's difficult to keep up with. I do make a huge effort toward it. Um, you know, over time I can get them caught up. Sometimes on the spot, I can't. Never, never hesitate to call. But remember, I do publish a copy of our MSRP build sheets so that you know exactly how your RV is equipped. And they're, again, speaking to an upscale crowd. Here's how this is kind of designed to work. You have a couple's dinette because 99% of the time with a freestanding table, it's just Mr. and Mrs. sitting here enjoying their dinner or playing a hand of cards or whatnot. However, ideally, when you're camping, sometimes you have guests. That's why they have a pair of these decor matching fold-away chairs. There's another one of these hidden under the master bed that I've left there to kind of demonstrate for you. So uh, you have four seats when you need them, two when you don't, and you do have an extension here so you can comfortably fit four people in the dinette. Um, again, floor space galore in here, central air, central heat. This is one of the very few travel trailers of which I'm aware that does carry a zero and 100 degree, um, testing. Uh, you know, this is zero degree certified guys. Very, very, very few travel trailers meet that. And we carry one of the only other brands here that does, but that's not what this video is about. This one's about the Eagle. So again, you actually have excellent storage space. It's just, it's kind of hidden away, and I've specifically taken some time to open these cabinets so you get to see it. Like, notice, because this RV is taller, that we have the shelving here to double your storage space. And this backsplash they put in here, it just really sets off the kitchen to me. I like it. Um, also important to mention, cool little charging station here for your phones. You have twin USB plugs and a household outlet right there. It's the perfect spot to set your phones to charge, which by the way is no problem. Your phone can Bluetooth over to that stereo from like 30 yards away. That is a high quality electronics unit right there. And again, when you're done, off go the lights. Just one switch. It's that easy. You will have a couple individual switches for like above a 
a seating area for like reading lights and stuff, but that's about it. Other than that, one switch and you're done. One and done. Um, we have a private bedroom and you have access to the bathroom from the bedroom or the hallway. So if you do have guests on that hide a bed, they're all set. And again, walk in just like at home, one light switch and there she is. Uh, we have upgraded the RV in this video to feature a king size bed. Uh, standards of queen. We like to upgrade to a king where we can, but notice some intelligent features here. Jayco puts a bed stand up high where the king bed's not going to interfere, and they put a power outlet as close to it as they possibly, possibly can. Even these uh, slide outs that are a lot of bedroom slides and travel trailers are only 18 inches deep. This is a full deep slide. That's a huge difference between this model and others. Like notice even in the bedroom, the crown molding continues. These when you get out of the living room, these are the things that other manufacturers drop off, like these slide open windows in the sides of the slide to get cross breeze up by your head when you're sleeping. These are the things other brands don't give you. Um, this is a 50 amp service model. Uh, we have not added the second air conditioner to this one. However, it is prepped and ready to do that. Sometimes we will add, oops, I, I lost my, uh, my focus on the camera here. It'll come back in a second. Sometimes we will add a second air conditioner. Sometimes we will not. It just really depends. Um, the uh, front closet here, this has a full fifth wheel front wardrobe slide. Most travel trailers with the front slide, it's only like 12 inches deep, just enough to hang a couple shirts sideways. This one has a full double wall-to-wall -wall wardrobe with a massive closet over here. I have to double check my literature. Last year's models, this was washer and dryer prepped hidden behind that paneling. Looking at the depth of it, I'm 99.9% .9 certain that that is still the case, but I do not make promises I cannot personally keep. And that's a, that's a big policy here at Haylitz. We won't tell you what we think, we tell you what we know. Uh, big dresser drawers here. Notice that everything is all plywood constructed so that, you know, again, that's why this has double the warranty of so many other brands. There's even power outlets over here as well as an extra charging station right here. So you can always have devices charged anywhere in this camper. Um, we have a sliding door right here. So you do have privacy even if you're sleeping on the master bed and a guest visits from the uh, other direction. Um, right here, I wanted to point out we have a monstrously large 60-inch walk-in shower. Now, here's something I love. They're using a, a, another accent wall board here in the bathroom. I love the look of this bathroom. It looks fantastic. And check this out. If you're looking for headroom, you got it in spades, buddy. This thing is made for big people like me, big American campers. Um, this is awesome. Watch behind. Uh, you, how you doing, Josh? Computer guy. Huh, I'm so sorry. You got to see this. This is the biggest problem right here with this RV. I don't know how my wife does it. I had her. She must have been drunk for so long, guys. I don't, <laughs> I'm sorry. Anyway, so you have this cool accent lighting behind the mirror here. And the reason I like that is if if you're like me, I'm a zombie when I wake up, man. I walk in. If I if I walked in here and I just flip on the light switch, I'm like, I'm blown away by this thing, you know? So I can come in and have an indirect light that's not going to just scream at me. Now, if you're work camping, you're coming out of your RV during, the, uh, while you're, during your work season, this is really nice because you can sit here and get ready without disturbing your partner. The other really neat thing here in this bathroom is that little blue LED light. And guys, it doesn't seem like much, but if you can leave that on during the night, it'll cascade because this is white. It's gonna, this whole thing's gonna glow. It'll cascade light through this entire bathroom. You'll be able to see just well enough to get in here, do your business and get out again without disturbing anybody, without having to come in and flip on big bright light switches or anything like that. Big space for like, you know, your blow dryers and shavers with a power outlet to do it. And look at this. Look at the storage going on in this bathroom. Just the bathroom has killer storage. Um, you know, there's there's things I haven't even touched on yet. And I'm, I'm past 19 minutes on this video. I got to wrap this up. So do not hesitate to give us a call. Other people are going to say they have good service. We're already going above and beyond with tours like these to educate you on products in a way that most salesmen are not even aware. Very few salesmen actually know their products. They're going to tell you it's pretty and has a good price tag. So what? Every dealer has good prices. If they didn't, they wouldn't be in business. Who is going to take care of you? You're making a significant amount of money. We're already going above and beyond. Imagine what we'll do when you meet us. Give us a call. 800-256-5196. Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Thank you, guys. Take care. Stay safe. Ha uh, happy camping. Have some fun.